what's up guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to be ranking every single five star that is in Wuthering waves i'm gonna give them, uh, my thoughts and opinion on the character um what you could do with them why they could be get bad why they could be good and yeah so leave a like on the video subscribe if you haven't yet join discord link in the description down below i will be streaming this game every single day <laughs> all right so we're gonna uh just rank off all the five star characters i'm not gonna rank the four star characters honestly in my opinion you're not gonna be using any of the four star characters besides uh baji uh Sanhua, yang yang um chi Nanjin, mort mort is actually mort and yang yang not yang Nanjin. mort and Nanjin you use the most then Baji and Yang Yang will be like the next two that you would probably use the most. Moving on. So let's start off with the limiteds. So Gion's in S tier. Um, I think that's kind of just undisputed. Uh, Gion. The Gion's really, really good. His alt is very fun to use. But he is a very alt like alt like character like his all his damage revolves around his alt so when you are building geon the issue that you're going to come across is that you need a lot of regen so you want to build your stats off regen for geon to always have his ult up if you do not always have his ult up and obviously you're not gonna have it up all the time but you know uh, you know what i mean consistently you will feel like he's very lackluster and he is not as good as a lot of people claim him to be and that's kind of why a lot of yin lin enjoyers like to trash on jian enjoyers uh because of that lack of dps where yin lin doesn't have that lack of dps naturally but mechanically she does so we'll get into that <laughs> so jian and i felt this way too i felt like he was lagging something and i'm very i'm a very big fan of dragons very big fan i'm i'm here to dragon myself i literally have a dragon necklace on right now <laughs> and there was something lacking about him and yeah it's because he just feels weird i don't know strange <laughs> to me personally just well the ult so getting regen up for ult is very very important but the old AoE is really good, gathers enemies, even overall really quick farming for overworld when you're farming like chests and things like that. It's really, really good. Um, he will, I'm telling you, he will feel very bad to play if you don't have the ult up. Um, also, if you guys don't have the weapon, the weapon is very important. I feel like when they're in waves, the weapons might be very important. Um, the dupes don't matter as much. Some characters dupes matter a lot, namely four star character. Four star character dupes matter a lot. They change up into a whole nother character. Like Donjin, we already know Donjin is one of the top DPS, but Donjin without dupes is not <laughs> the top DPS. That's the difference here. Only a Donjin with max dupes is that strong. But you're gonna be summoning on Geon's banner, so there you go. Anyways uh yeah Gion's uh really really good he has a great burst damage I actually updated his alt where I think his alt is faster actually um I think it has a larger AoE now uh compared to what it did before but uh yeah I mean you guys don't need the weapon for Gion but you guys will know the damage difference there are damage comparison videos compared to a four star weapon you guys will know the difference when it comes to uh Gion so moving on next s tier we have yinlin uh obviously yinlin is kind of disputed i know the whole thing right now is jian versus yinlin i'm not really gonna have that discussion because they're both good in their own right uh yinlin the thing is with yinlin that she has a lot of good base damage so she's a very good character or the base damage that she provides um now honestly she can easily put out damage but there's a higher ceiling for the damage that you could do i'm not really sure what character i could really compare this to but just think of a character where 
if you watch a pleb play it they will not complete at the same time as they watch a master player right so think of it like what pgr crimson weave right how many crimson weave combo there are it's kind of the same thing with yin lin yeah crimson weave is strong base but you won't be doing as much damage compared to someone that actually knows how to play yin lin so that's the thing about her um <clears throat> her actually revolves around uh switch canceling frames mechanics things like that so that's where it will really uh come to shine if you know how to play yin lin it'll show it'll, it'll show and i think i actually like i like characters like that because it kind of separates if like you're trash or not so if you know how to play the game you gotta play yin lin it'll, it'll show off trust and the thing is with yin lin uh, you have to get used to that she has very long animations so that's why uh switching her in and out matters a lot and that's why a lot of people want to pull kakarot because kakarot also has a similar situation when it comes to that and they mesh really really well together um yin lin also applies mark onto enemy where you are switching kakarot to take care of the marks so yeah she's in s tier okay so moving on to the next one uh let's see suverina because varina is obviously s tier now varina i don't know why this is really being disputed um i think it's just because people probably don't like the design of the character obviously there's always been the kind of issue with these kind of characters with their designs but uh varina's s tier um she's literally the only standard character that's in s tier and i'm being so serious about that she's amazing farina does so much uh for your team yes baji can almost do the same exact things as Verena, but not exactly so Verena, uh cool thing about her is that she actually allows you to live at one hp if you get hit fatally so that's really really cool uh she also gives a attack boost for the entire team it's not elemental base it's an entire attack boost it's fucking great um she can also give a 15 percent damage up uh when you end up switching her out which is obviously really really good and she also heals uh she's it's, it's just so simple like you literally switch her in you get all the buffs you get the healing um she literally when you switch her out you get a 50 percent damage buff you get an attack buff as well it there's nothing really that's bad about her she does her job well like it's actually crazy <laughs> so yeah she's she's nest here like there's no really dispute about that so everyone i'm saying right now everyone is a tier and below so here we have kakarot i'm just calling kakarot i like calling kakarot kakarot uh he is a very it sucks because his JPVA is fucking awesome. It's Sephiroth, Minato, Ishin. So many good characters as his VA and JP. But he is not easy to play. And that's the thing that kind of sucks for a lot of people. And I know it's going to. <laughs> so he has a very uh, similar situation to Gion. Where his R or his ult, right? Uh, basically that's where most of the damage comes from that's kind of what you have to play around so you need to learn the frames of the bosses where you are allowed to ult to get the most damage out of it um he's really big into swap canceling also kind of like yin lin that's why yin lin is the best uh team uh like basically the best teammate for kakarot because they both have similar gameplays and you'll kind of get used to it actually if you play both of them and the thing is with Kakarot and Yin Lin, they're kind of like the only style team in the game that plays like that. So if you guys are investing all your time into that, you'll, you'll kind of learn very, very fast because no one no one really else plays like that besides switching like Gion and Mort. Um, but he has a weird delayed mechanic on his attacks even his parry skill is actually delayed it's not frame by frame like uh let's say dungeon dungeon is very quick with um parrying 
Kakarot has a very kind of delayed kind of uh, pairing. It's kind of slow, so you kind of have to learn. Like, Kakarot will help you learn the game the way he wants to play it. <laughs> it's, it's very different than other characters. So if you are going to play Kakarot, you're going to play him full time. That's the thing. So not everyone will be able to master kind of like the DPS ceiling that he does have. Um, there are a lot of frames and taking a hand, a lot of canceling, things like that. If you guys are not into really not sweat gameplay, but more optimal gameplay, probably not the best pick. So next character we're going to get into Encore. Encore is very centered around her alt as well. And Encore also has the issue where her... Uh, I believe it's the heavy attack or it might be the forte skill kind of forgot but it's an attack that has her be exposed for a very long time so she's another one of those characters with a long animation that you want to switch and switch out but all her damage is more centered around her alt um it kind of reminds me of uh klee klee from genshin where it's basically centered around the alt um and most of the damage does come from the all when it comes to the uh, fusion damage so encore if you don't play her as optimal it's okay because you can kind of make up for it kakarot's a little bit different kakarot's like kakarot's like the uh the meta game try hard uh virgil <laughs> Well, his VA is Dante, but but kind of Virgil gameplay, top tier, uh, encore, you can kind of have fun with it. Um, try to think what else is wrong with encore. Oh, encore actually cannot parry. She actually cannot parry, and I think that's a lot of a lot of issues with some of the people probably. So the way encore parries is that she has to jump in the air and do a dive attack into a parry. So that's also another thing that's going to change your gameplay feel. I feel like this game is very skill based. And that's the kind of thing that I like about it. Um, if Encore isn't doing her ult again, it's going to be the same thing like Gion where it doesn't feel as good to play. Now, um, the issue with Encore. So... One more issue with her is that with Gion, we have Mort. With Yinlin, we have Kakarot. With Encore, we have nobody. And that's where Chang Li will probably be good for Encore. So Encore is kind of like on a back burner because she doesn't have that twin <laughs> to really play with. Besides Verena, like if you want to play Verena, Encore, that's fine. All right, moving on to the uh, last two characters. Or we'll probably go over over too. So, I know some people probably put Jian Shen in B tier. I want to put her in A tier. So, I'm gonna put Jian Shen in A tier. Um, might be a little bias, a little bias, but. The reason why I'm going to put Jian Shin in A tier, literally, uh, you know, I was a Jian Shin main in CPT2. But that's not why I'm really doing that. Jian Shin is a very good overall character. Uh, I feel like she caters a lot to new players. Um, if you are new to this kind of game, um, Jian Shin is amazing. Uh, she has a shield that negates the attacks. Um, she has a, a parry mechanic that gives you an extra uh, parry in case you are going to get hit by a deadly attack maybe you can't dodge on time you can quickly parry the attack to outlive it if you run her and varina together you guys can clear content yeah it'll be a little bit slower because she's not really used as a main dps but she might be because she's supposed to get updated junction is really really good um she's very very fluid with her attacks as well from um, you know what i played in countless hours of uh, she also gained gathered monsters. Her heavy attack is really, really good for AOE clearing. When it comes to the uh, 
the dungeons you can do for exp i feel like a lot of people are just gonna have issues with the long animation they're gonna feel like it's long once you get used to it it's really not if you do it at the right time um but yeah Junction is just a really really character I, I just feel like the only cons about her is that it's gonna be the long animations people are gonna complain about and also her um kind of want some regen not regen on her because it doesn't really matter it's more the alt the alt kind of takes long to charge but her ult isn't really that useful like it's okay but it's not that useful to be honest and i think that's also an issue the alt could be better as well and oh yeah another thing um if you're gonna play her yeah she can shield the entire team that does healing over time by the way you want to have her on the field all the time to be honest because once the shield wears off you want to switch her back in anyways to do it again and it doesn't take long for the shield to wear off anyway so in my opinion she's literally the best all-rounder if you don't really know to play if you want to feel for the game like how i did then she's a great character to pick now moving on to next still be link game in the c tier uh and then rover will be in b tier rover is actually better than link game okay so let me answer this real quick also i love how they spoil this and this is probably gonna be a tier to be honest <laughs> all right so Let's just go into Ling Yang real quick. Okay, Ling Yang, oh my God. The, the crazy thing is Ling Yang feels so fun in his story quest. It feels so fun. It's feel like when you when you play Ling Yang in a story quest, I'm telling you, it's gonna feel like a breath of fresh air, bro. A breath of fresh air. It's gonna feel so good to play. Um, yeah, just man, but he has so many issues. <laughs> he, he has so many issues. Like I just it's so crazy. Like like the the really cool thing about Ling Yang is like his like air combos. Um, you know, if you are new to the game, you know, just spamming spamming the keys it feels really fun. Uh, you don't really need to think a lot with Ling Gang. Um, you kind of just do your air combos and that's it. But for someone that's optimal, right? Most of his damage comes from in the air. If he gets attack in the air, it's kind of GG. He can only dodge once in the air as well. So doesn't make it as optimal for air gameplay, but you can't play him on the ground because that's not as optimal because most of his combos come from when he's airborne. And the thing is, a lot of the bosses have weird hitboxes where it can show that the attack is on the ground, but it can also include the air where he's at. So that's going to result in you losing once you get one tapped. He has a very new, like a lot of nuances. He has higher, he has higher windows to get hit than any other character, which kind of sucks. He has a really, really cool design, for my opinion, <laughs> and really, really fun to play. But he has a lot of things that are lacking, and some even think his DPS is kind of lacking. But I'm like, he, well, he's the best ice character to be honest. And DPS was. I'd argue even Sanhua even feel better to play than Ling Gang just because all the mobility things and stuff going on with him. And last one, uh we're gonna get into Rover. Uh so thing is with Rover. Rover is actually kind of like the one of the better MCs for these gacha games where it doesn't feel trash to play. Rover feels really good to play. Oh, if you guys actually farm the, uh, is it the caskets? I believe if you guys farm the caskets, you guys can actually get Rover Max Dupe Day 1. There is something, it's it's with the shops, but when the shops give you dupes, if you actually max out Rover Day 1, it's going to feel great. It's going to feel amazing. Uh, Rover will actually feel really, really strong. And you'll be playing Rover a lot if you guys end up doing that. Um, but... You know, other characters are going to catch up to Rover, but having Rover max at day one or day two, it's going to feel great to use. Um, Rover can actually heal 
um, has great, great utility and stuff like that. Rover is a very, very fast character. So Rover, if you like very, very fast gameplay, there you go. Um, actually, Rover and Don Jin, a little bit of San Juan, but they're like the only two characters that have like a really, really fast gameplay, which is like what I like a lot personally. Um, so Rover kind of just fits into everything. Also, when you switch them out, they like time stop on the enemy. So that's really, really cool. But Rover kind of just does it all to help you kind of learn the game and things like that. So they're not exceptional like any of the other five stars with Zai Li Yang, but they're good at what they do at their job if you are starting out. All right, so that's going to be it for this uh, ranking video. Um, when it comes to four stars, I'll just do this really quick. Don Jin is going to be an A tier. Um, Don Jin, really, really good DPS wise, um, but you need dupes on her. If you guys just get Don Jin with no dupes, it's not going to feel as good. Don Jin with no dupes is like maybe C tier, probably B tier. A tier is only if you have a dupes on her, but... Uh, obviously, this is like a base tier list. I'm just putting her here if you guys have all dupes on her. Mort is also A tier. Mort is A tier because Mort pairs off with Gion. Really, really good combo there. Um, uh, Wan, uh, Wan Wu is actually going to be B tier. Pretty good DPS for what he does. Not the most insane DPS, but it's okay. It, it's not really that crazy um also it's gonna be in d tier also is not that good also uh the thing is also really revolves around his ult this already costs a lot and if you're not hitting enemies inside of the alt window um because there's he literally puts an alt down and you have to fire in the window and dodge mechanic in the window for extra hits if you are not doing that it feels trash to play it also has really really weak numbers and it sucks it also looks so cool as a character uh tau key it's also kind of eh like it kind of sucks because she's a healer but why would you ever play tau key when you can play baji baji is put baji in b tier baji basically does the same thing that Verena does but it's kind of lackluster in comparison but she's the free to play option Yang Yang, I'm gonna put Yang Yang in. Let's see, I'll put Yang Yang in uh, also B tier. Yang Yang also gathers enemies as well. Um, she does a lot when it comes to the game. She has great outro skills, gives a damage up, things like that. So she's a good overall character. Uh, when it comes to Chi, uh, Chi, I know a lot of people play Chi. Um, the thing is that she can't parry. <laughs> uh, she has a lot of vulnerability and things like that. I'll put she into C tier. I know some people are like trying to use her as a full on DPS, but it's not as good as it could be. But just in the early game is cool, but you're not going to use her after that. And then we also have uh, San Hua. So San Hua uh, is going to feel really 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 cool to play um she has a great all damage so you can actually utilize her ult a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot, a lot. so she if you guys actually do invest into san Juan, she's gonna feel really really good to play all right well i guess this turned into ranking every single <laughs> character <laughs> instead but yeah uh, it's pretty much going to be a tier list uh, for me, guys. You know, what other ways is coming out tomorrow? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, leave a like on the video if you haven't yet. Subscribe. Join Discord link in the description. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.